In Unit 6, we will familiarize ourselves with the academic principle of materiality. This unit is divided into two sections. Section 1. Adequate reduction of inherent complexity. The principle of materiality implies an adequate reduction of the inherent complexity of a research question. Information and facts will be processed while pursuing a given aim. Selected theories and methods will be used in order to derive conclusions. Adequate reduction of inherent complexity means that the research output has to be the intellectual condensate of a proper research process. The research output has to be free of trivial as well as overly complicated statements. Anyhow, it should demonstrate a certain level of sophistication while simultaneously being comprehensible for the recipients. Section 2. Adequate Decision Usefulness Furthermore, the principle of materiality implies decision usefulness. Adequate decision usefulness means that your conclusions should be sufficiently creative while addressing the research question. Thereby, the extent of self-contained conclusions will be taken into account while judging upon the research output. Especially in business and social sciences, the consideration of the empirical environment or operational reality will become important.